Howdy team, welcome to this week's podcast. Today I have got a recording from our live event, the Lead Generation Bootcamp. The first time we ran this, we had a room full of 30 individuals. We've shared with you on the podcast previously uh, a very similar episode, but today is all about creating content in 2023. The game has changed, partly due to AI, partly due to the competitive nature of each individual channel wanting to gain and keep your attention. So you must watch and listen to this episode and implement everything that I talk about within it. Grab a pen, grab a piece of paper, take some notes, and why not have a listen twice? Here's over to the episode. So because of TikTok, everything's now gone into the creative space and it's all changed. This is a big transformation that's happened because it's more competitive. So we need to focus on this community side. So how do we engage people? How do we excite people? How do we entertain or how do we educate? If you can do all four, amazing. In one piece of content that is, I can't do all four, but if you could do something, obviously you can engage, but if you can excite, entertain and educate in one piece of content, you know, you're gonna be amazing content creator effectively, but you can also sit there and go, okay, what is the point of me doing this content? Because what happens is you'll start seeing I'm doing some lifestyle based stuff now. One of them is one I did a dropping the kids off at school because when people resonate with that or see that they'll start watching other pieces of content. Yeah. You know, so often the first thing we say to people when we meet them at a networking event is yeah. Or what'd you do? You know, what'd you do? Have you got kids? You know, we start talking about, oh, I had a newborn back in the 5th of December. I haven't slept for the last three months, blah, 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 blah. Sorry, but you know, you, you, you're looking at ways in which you can create that initial connection. And when someone's initially connected, you only need to plant the seed that you are a letting agent or a mortgage broker or a conveyancer. And then the rest is downstream from thereafter. So we've got to start bringing the audience into the brand through the method of storytelling, which goes back to the why you started your business. So we think about the AIDA method, you know, you can talk about capturing their attention. If you're a self-employed individual with one year's accounts, you know, it can be challenging for you to get a mortgage. Recently worked with Joe, who is a bricklayer going into, you know, building a business, blah, 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 blah. Then you can start to use Ada as a method to bring a bit of a story, it doesn't need to be long, but into that people's content so it resonates. Or you can bring your own story into that. So storytelling is a really, really vital part of, of obviously moving your brand forward. And as well as the last part, who's honest enough to say they post inconsistently? And it's a challenge. Most important thing is doing your content first thing in the morning. Like if you can, if you if you can do the biggest on the piece of the business first, you've won the rest of the day. You know, I used to leave it until the afternoon, and then an offer would fall out of bed, or a client would be something, or a kid would need picking up from school early, and then the most important part of the business is then forgotten. So it's how do we start to make sure that we uh, we come up with the right ideas for putting it into our diary, then being consistent with it. And if we've got a bank that we're just repurposing and reusing, it takes the stress and the frustration away from having to constantly keep recreating. If you haven't yet purchased a copy of the Lead Generation Guide, go to Amazon right now and grab a copy. If you have already purchased the Kindle book or the paperback, then please go to Amazon and leave a review. It'll be hugely appreciated because I love to read your comments and your feedback and it also helps new purchasers understand how it's gonna help them to generate leads and increase their sales. So what I wanna do is I want you all to leave with some content because if you've got an idea as a little bit of bank as to what you need to quote, what you wanna talk about from now, it's gonna make life really easy. We've got photos and links, we've got information, live video on Facebook. How to with YouTube works brilliantly well because everybody searches how to the same they do on Google. So how to get a mortgage, how to save for a deposit. Uh, webinars obviously work brilliantly on YouTube. Explainer videos work really well. You know, so explaining the first time buyer scheme or explaining how a mortgage works or explaining the, the conveyancing process. Um, obviously, if you're doing Instagram, we all see the fakery that's on there. Uh, you've got the inspiration and the adventure. People want to see you out and about. So every channel wants you to stay natively on the channel. So if you want to share a link to your website or something like that, um, ask for a comment, but the first comment you put in is the link to your website or the link of where you want to send them to. Because as soon as you put uh, a link into the actual post, it reduces the reach, i.e. the number of people that see it. And then 
you don't get as good of results. So yeah, still link in the comments. Because of AI now, they re even read the images. So if you put a link on your images, it will naturally reduce the reach because they want to keep people on the channel. The channels are fighting for as much attention as, as the users and the creators. So when we think about, yeah, so going back to this, inspiration adventures, good pictures. Obviously, reels have really kicked off now. Questions and polls in the story to so engage your audience is, is absolutely awesome. Getting people to, to really resonate with you. Twitter, you know, you can do, it's only one line. You can do a quick hard hit news. I actually don't like Twitter that much as a platform because it's so fast. You know, if you're going to do it, you've got to schedule. It's hard graft, I think, for most people. So LinkedIn, long form, works really well. Sharing core values because it's professional based. And obviously TikTok is still entertaining based. It's humor based. It's really rough, raw and ready style content, really. You can just get your phone out and just talk about whatever you want realistically to it. You don't have to do highly edited stuff. I hope you enjoyed that episode. Something a little bit different for you from a live event, speaking to an audience, and I hope it's given you a huge amount of ideas to take forward. Thanks very much indeed for tuning in. Remember, now's the time to become pro.